let's go just a little bit over over by there, and let's go over to Kansas City. Hey, Alan and Ben, this is Charlie calling from the Kansas City area. We bought a house last uh, April and missed our pre-emergent window. I tried to keep on top of the other weeds as best I could and uh, did a fairly good job with that, with the exception of one wild violet. Had a heck of a time controlling that. Uh, didn't really make any headway whatsoever. It's back again this year with a vengeance. And I wanted to know a good strategy for controlling wild violet. I know it's kind of tough. Um, I wanted to know if I could use a combination of quinclorac and 2,4-D to take care of that, or if there's a better solution. Should I just use one? Is both together good? Can they be tank mixed? Just looking for some insight there and would appreciate some feedback. Thank you. Charlie, great question. Wild Violet is one I get a lot of questions about. So this is going to answer tons of you guys that have been having pictures in the Facebook group of Wild Violet. Those of you have been sending emails in. Those of you have been leaving questions about it. This is going to answer a bunch of these. So the first thing I want you to realize is the best time to control violets is the fall time. Now, I'm not telling you not to go now. I'm just telling you that the best time is the fall. So definitely, whatever you do, action or inaction, be ready to go in the fall. The next thing is is to realize that wild violet is tough for two reasons. Number one is is it likes to grow in shadier areas. Now, you will find it in the sun, but it prefers shadier areas where grass doesn't grow as well, so you don't get as much help from the turf. And then the other thing is is it does have a rhizome system. Now, it can get a little fat and get a little wide, but what happens then, that means you cannot hand pick it. You can go out and pull all day long. You're going to leave that rhizome in there and it's going to come back. So the mechanical means that I like to talk about a lot are not always open to us. So with that, you are going to have to use a chemical control here. And what you want to look for, Charlie, is triclopyr. That is the best way to control. You also should get a mix that's got some 2,4-D in it. So if you get something that's got triclopyr and 2,4-D, you're going to be good. That's going to wipe it out. A couple that I know of is, is 4-Speed XT. I've seen Matt Martin talk about that before. That's pretty affordable in the affordable range. If you look around, I think you can buy it in small quantities of a quart or less, which is what I recommend you do. And then also T-Zone, that's another one. But those are a couple products that you can get. Those will be great all-around weed controls for your cool season turf anyway. So just make sure you read the label. Make sure there's no restrictions on there when you spray, and that should help take care of your problem out there. Now, the other thing that that same exact product will do is it will wipe out Creeping Charlie, which is one that oftentimes people have a companion with. I see wild violets in companion growing with Creeping Charlie, and that exact same product will wipe those out just as well. Quinclorac does not work that well, so I don't recommend that. However, if you do have Quinclorac in one of your mixes, and you're out there spraying crabgrass and you do have some wild violets, well, of course you should go ahead and give them a whack, but I don't think that's your best bet for your primary control. If your biggest problem or if you are going after, definitely going after wild violet, Quinclorac is not the product for that.